Oh, well, I beat up all the boys growing up. I always did. That's still the same. <laughs> you know, like, nobody who ever did anything great ever did it with ease. You know, it's a challenge. It's, it's not going to be easy. And, you know, just along this road as, as a martial artist and starting karate when I was eight years old, just because starting it out of love because I love Ninja Turtles and I wanted to, you know, be like a Ninja Turtle. And then with it becoming something that I felt like was a home, something that, you know, built me as a person and then something that turned into a career. I don't know, I just followed my heart, you know, I went with my gut. My gut was telling me like, you know, fight. When I thought about the bell and I, and I first saw the glory bell, I was like, man, those chains are pretty dope. <laughs> and I was like, man, I hope they don't make the women's belt like super girly and take off the chains. And it's the exact same size. Now I'm like, man, it's really, really big. I mean, I don't have jeans with belt loops big enough for it, so. <laughs> like rewind back to being a little kid and my dad growing up surfing, teaching me to surf, being, you know, having Indonesian blood. My dad's always like, we gotta go on a surf trip to Bali, and we talked about it like growing up. And so when I finally got the opportunity to go to Bali, I'm like, all right, I'm there. So I, I went for two months, and within the first month, I was training and you know helping out, teaching classes at the gym, and I got offered a full-time teaching position. And I had nothing, you know, really tying me down in you know here in the states. And um, I felt like it would be a great opportunity to live in paradise and, and teach and train and surf. And you know, those are the, pretty much the things that I love to do and do them in a tropical paradise with great people. And um, so I ended up in Bali. I live by myself. Yeah, I just have a, I have a two bedroom villa. So, you know, I like when people come to visit. So I like to have a... Thursday afternoon, woo! <laughs> I'm single. Yeah. I'm looking for somebody who, who's very secure with himself and who's very outgoing. Uh, very special guy to, to be the one who steals my heart because right now I'm, uh, I'm married to to fight. I'm married to the fight, you know. Um, living that, that Ronin samurai life kind of right now. She has excelled at all levels of karate and Muay Thai and is now ranked as the number one kickboxer Phantom weight in the world. She is Tiffany Van Seuss. That was crazy. Being in a sold out arena was like, you know, you dream about it when you're a little kid. You know, you, you pretend that, you know, you make the game winning shot and the crowd goes wild and you're like, ah, that sound was real. <laughs> like, like when I was in the back getting ready to walk out, just hearing the, the rumble of the bass from the music, like just in my chest and you know, I visualize it. You know, I practice visualization with my training. I visualize my walk to the ring, how I'm gonna feel, what the crowd's gonna look like and feel like. And, you know, to try to prepare myself for that moment so that when it actually does happen, I'm not overwhelmed by it. I visualized it, but man, my visualization didn't even compare to what it actually felt like. It was like, I was trying to stay focused, stay cool. All right, just look straight ahead, just focus. No, take in the moment, look at it. You know, like, you're here. So I glanced up, and then I glanced up even further, and I just see just a, like just people, a sea of people, and I just felt this this energy, and I hear my walkout music playing, and I'm pumped, and I got this warm feeling, and I just couldn't help but smile, because I was like, oh, this is so cool. And then I was like, focus, get to the ring. <laughs> now, Glory Bantamweight Grand Prix Tournament Champion, Tiffany! This is for anybody who ever thought they couldn't. This is for you guys. You can do it. You set your mind to just follow your heart. I guess they call me the time bomb because it's just a matter of time before I go off.